tragedy strikes as YouTube aviation star Jenny Blaylock and father killed in Tennessee plane crash. In a devastating incident, rewound YouTube aviation personality Jenny Blaylock, 45, and her 78 year old father James Blaylock lost their lives in a single engine plane crash near Pulaski, Tennessee. The fatal crash occurred on Thursday around 11 15 am local time as reported by the Federal Aviation Administration. The heartbreaking event unfolded shortly after Jenny, known for her popular YouTube channel TN Fly Girl, posted a poignant video showing showcasing her flying adventures with her father. The video recorded just days before the crash depicted Jenny navigating a new Cherokee 180 plane reading instructions from a paper during the flight. The ill-fated journey began at Knoxville, Downton Island Airport, with a crash transferring approximately an hour and 15 minutes later according to flight away data. Emergency responders faced challenges reaching the remote crash site near Diana Ridge Road where the Beechcraft 35 piloted by Jenny went down. The Blaylocks, the sole occupants of the aircraft, were found deceased outside the wreckage which was swiftly engulfed in flames. The fire was promptly extinguished by emergency crews. Jenny, a business owner, identified herself on her YouTube channel as a private pilot flying for fun in a Beechcraft Debonair. With over 15,000 followers, her channel aimed to offer an informative and entertaining perspective on aviation. The tragic loss comes just weeks after Jenny shared a video titled Pilot Training with My Dad, showcasing the pair's shared passion for flying. In the video, they discussed technologies while soaring through the skies. Expressing gratitude for the community's support, the Blaylock family released a statement saying, Our family is taking great comfort in knowing that they were together when they met our Lord and Savior. As friends and followers mourn the untimely death on social media, condolences poured in acknowledging Jenny's inspirational role in the aviation community. The investigation into the crash is currently underway led by the FAA and the National Transportation Safety Board. Thanks.